عم يستشهد هلا من سفر الخروج 15 على 27 ثم جاءوا الى ايليم اللي انا شرحتها قبل شوي وهناك 12 عين ماء و70 نخله ركزوا 12 بئر و70 نخله وهنشوف After the Red Sea crossing, Moses and the Israelites stop at a place near Mount Sinai named Elam. Desperate for water, they find a unique location with 12 wells and 70 palms. للمعلومية للمعلومية آه يلي حيزور الموقع عن طريق جوجل إيرث جوجل ماب أي موقع خريطة الموقع اللي مذكور فيه 12 بئر و70 نخلة لو حتشوفوا من فوق هو المكان الوحيد اللي فيه الخضار والماء بقية الأماكن اللي حواليها أرض قحلاء صخرية يعني الله يعين اللي بيمشي فيها سبحان الله مكان رب العالمين خصصه لسيدنا موسى ولبني إسرائيل سبحان الله Along the path to the possible real Mount Sinai there is a match for Elam with many palm trees شايفين البير وحتلاقي منها هي 12 and to this day 12 wells Saudi locals pointed us to this location and specifically referred to ملاحظين ملاحظين مكان فاضي يعني كله صخور وارض قحلاء وحالتها حالي هل المكان الوحيد يلي فيه النخل 70 نخله و12 بئر as Elam عم يستشهد من الخروج 32 العدد أربعة فأخذ ذلك من أيديهم وصوروه بالإزميل وصنعوا وصنعه عجلا مسبوكا ها هون لما طلع سيدنا موسى يحكي مع الله عليه الصلاة والسلام وعبدوا العجل حنشوف هلا وين موقع عبادة العجل بيقول النص هذه آلهتك يا إسرائيل التي أصعدتك من أرض مصر حنشوف Another major event by Mount Sinai is the incident with the golden calf. While Moses is up on Mount Sinai, some of his followers begin worshiping a golden calf. هيدي النقوش اللي وجدوها عند المكان اللي تعبد فيه عند حوريب. لما طلع كلم الله سيدنا موسى، شوفوا العجل. نقوش العجل. هاي نقوش تاريخية قديمة جدا. حنكمل. They place it up on a stand and begin worshiping around it and they said شايفين؟ عاملين انه هن عم يعبدوا العجل بنو اسرائيل up an altar in front of it when moses comes down from mount sinai he destroys the golden calf and sprinkles its remains into the river that comes down from the mountain here in front of the mountain we have the remains of what may have been that golden calf worship site now behind me in this fenced in archaeological site that the saudis are protecting You see both a stand with many petroglyphs of cows and people worshiping cows, as well as a structure that is slightly lifted that may be the altar in front of the... هون نحط العجل فوق هاي الصخرة. حطوه فوق هون وقعدوا يتعبدوا له. سبحان الله. <تصفيق> سبحان ربي الأعلى لا إله إلا أنت. كملوا معي. The golden calf stand. There's a sign in Arabic and English warning intruders against going into the area. The local tradition that this is where the golden calf was is so strong that if you approach it, you'll be suspected of searching for gold. According to the Bible, the worshippers of the golden calf say, These are your gods, O Israel. This verse indicates that there are multiple depictions of bulls as the Israelites are worshipping the golden calf. On the top of the stand where the golden calf would have been placed, there is a circular indent where the rock has been worn down. It's speculated that this is where Moses grounded the golden calf into powder. After Moses destroys the golden calf, 3,000 of the golden calf worshippers are killed, so there must be a spot where thousands of people were buried. About four miles from this site, there's a massive ancient graveyard. It appears to... شايفين هاي المقبرة يلي قتل فيها 3,000 شخص. سيدنا موسى على كلام be a mass burial site where the graves were dug all at once it's located just outside the plain where the israelites would have camped so it's exactly where it should be if this is where that story took place 
Here too, the Saudis have a sign identifying it as an archaeological site, and it's patrolled by police.